Hello and welcome to the Dundas Dashboard tutorial series. In this video, the Dundas workflow, I'll be showing you the broad phases of activity you'll be performing as you build dashboards in Dundas. There are four phases within the Dundas Dashboard workflow, and they are as follows. First, you'll be creating data connectors to the relevant data sources. So everything that you'll be looking to build dashboards on top of will require a data connector. In this phase, you'll be telling Dundas what type of provider you have, where it lives, and all of the credentials that Dundas will need to access that data. Dundas inherits the logical schema, so in the case of relational sources, it'll pull out the tables, views, functions, and store procedures that exist. For SSAS, it'll pull out the OLAP cubes. For flat files such as Excel, Dundas will impose a tabular data structure on top of it. The next step is to create a virtual layer, so a set of virtual tables and cubes for each underlying table, view, procedure, and cube. This is a necessary step. This is an abstraction layer between your data and your KPIs. This is your chance to start narrowing down your data source down to only what's relevant to the rest of the development process. The next step is to build KPIs and data sets on top of that virtual layer. So for everything you're looking to visualize on a dashboard, you'll need to create, create either KPIs or data sets. And this will be demonstrated in a later set of videos in this tutorial series. And finally, you'll open up the dashboard designer and start creating dashboards in our visual design environment. So that's the typical dashboard workflow. And there are two exceptions to this workflow. The first will be if you're going to be using standard or time-based dimensions. So if you have a hierarchy, such as your regional territories, your operational units, or product groups, you'll need to establish a dimension, and that dimension will be used in your KPIs and data sets, so that every KPI you build can reference that dimension and be navigated and filtered the same way. So these are defined on top of your virtual layer, your virtual table, but before you go in and define KPIs and data sets, so your workflow will look like this, where in the case of any dimensions you want to establish, you'll build those on top of your virtual tables and then use them when you define your KPIs. So that's the first exception if you have hierarchies that you're looking to reuse over and over in different KPIs. The second exception will be if you're building an analytical dashboard on top of an OLAP cube. There are no KPIs and data sets used on an analytical dashboard. The workflow is as follows, where you simply connect to your data, define virtual cubes on top of your OLAP cubes, and then design your analytical dashboard. So here's the home screen of the development environment, and in the middle of the screen we'll see that workflow for a performance dashboard, the four broad steps. Connect to your data, create a virtual layer on top of that data, create your library of business metrics, and then go in and design your dashboard. If I click over here and select analytical dashboard, you can see the shortened workflow is simply connect to your cube, create a virtual cube, which could be a subset of those OLAP cubes that Dundas will discover when you connect to SSAS, and finally create an analytical dashboard on top of it. So that's the workflow. If you have any questions about this video or any other topics that we cover in our training program, feel free to email us at training at dundas.com. If you're looking to discover the technical terms that I've used in this video, you can visit our support site at support.dundas.com. Thank you.